rusty brake rotors? Yep, that's the subject for today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Matt, this is Tech Forum. On this channel, I discuss primarily the ownership experience of a Tesla Model 3. This particular car is a 2021 Model 3 Performance, all-wheel drive. But uh, I had previous to this car a long-range rear-wheel drive Tesla Model 3, also in white body color. Uh, that car I put 110,000 miles on. This car has 15,000 miles. So I've got about 125,000 miles under my belt in driving Model 3s and I've become pretty familiar with the platform. So for today's video, I wanted to walk you guys through some ins and outs of brakes. And uh, uh, this comes up mainly because recently we've had a lot of uh, a lot of rain in our area. And I will start off by saying any car parked out in the rain will get some rust on the brake rotors. All you have to do is hit the brakes and it, it blows the rust right off the rotors. However, the reason that it, it differs with a Tesla or actually any electric or hybrid vehicle is because electric vehicles, as well as most hybrids, use regenerative braking. Now, what is regen braking? Regen braking is you let off in the accelerator or in some cars you depress the brake pedal slightly and the car slows down, turning that kinetic energy back into electric energy that's stored in the battery. It's a, a way to uh, slightly recharge the battery. You don't gain everything that you lost accelerating, but you gain some of that back. And um, that electric regen essentially slows the car down electrically without using the friction brakes. So with an EV and with some hybrids, you could theoretically drive the car around and really never use the mechanical brakes unless you're panic stopping or you know just purposely hitting the brakes to slow down more rapidly. Uh, this is a problem because as I stated earlier, any vehicle parked out in the rain is going to encounter some rust of the rotors. Well, with a conventional car, the first time you touch the brake, that rust goes away. But on an EV or a, a hybrid, you may not think about it, and you're driving, and you're being as efficient as you can be, so you're slowing down and not touching the brake, just letting the regen do all the work, and then accelerating again. And when you do that, you're not, you don't give the brake pads a chance to, to clamp down on the, on the rotors and shed that rust off the surface of the rotors. And I, uh, I had a my first Ford C Max hybrid, which we currently own three of them. But my first one was 2013. Bought it brand new. Put oh, right about 200,000 miles on it, and then my adult son took it over. It's currently got 235,000 miles on it. He still drives it daily. Uh, that car has had numerous brake rotor replacements in its life, not because they wore down, but because. I was so good at using regen that the mechanical brakes rarely had to clamp down on the rotors. Eventually, so much rust built up on the rotors that they began to delaminate. The, the surface, surface, hardened surface metal began to flake off the rotors in chunks. And uh, that was a real problem. All of a sudden I hit the brakes and it was grinding and clunking <laughs> as it was slowing down. It was uh, very disconcerting to say the least. And um, so I, I learned that Every now and then, you need to go ahead and use the brakes nice and hard. So I would say probably two or three times a day in either of my hybrids or my electric vehicle, I will go ahead and, and get on the brakes relatively hard. I'll look to see if anyone's behind me, and I'll go ahead and, and get up to maybe 65 miles an hour and kind of lean on the brakes a little bit, slow down to 15 or 20, accelerate back up to 60, 65 miles an hour, get hard on the brakes again to... Uh, to keep the pads and rotors nice and clean and shiny and get rid of any corrosion that may have built up on the surface. So this is something that I highly recommend that anyone that has a, a, uh, an EV or a hybrid do periodically because it uh, your mechanical brakes were designed to be used periodically. And yet if you are a very efficient driver, you may not be using those brakes as often as necessary, or at least not often enough to keep the brakes nice and clean, as I had said before. So, so let's see here. I'll go ahead and show you what I do. So I'll go ahead and accelerate. Get it up to about 65 and get hard on the brakes. Slow way down again. 
accelerate again. Get hard on the brakes again. And I'll do this periodically. I don't know. I, I drive about 150 miles a day. So I, well, maybe a little less than that now, 120 miles a day. And I'll do it eh, once a day, maybe twice. Uh, but you definitely need to do it once or twice a week at least. So that is my advice for you guys. Uh, short video for today, but it's just, I walked outside, looked through the wheels of my car and realized, oh my gosh, it's been raining. Now you can see there's snow. It was raining for a couple days. Now we have snow on the ground. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I better take the car out and drive it and blow the rust off the rotors. And uh, so I, I figured I would share this with you guys. A lot of you, I'm sure, know this information, but this will be new for others. So um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, the swiveling screen mount, go ahead and leave a, a comment in the comments section below. I, we've got 30 some pending orders right now that we are rushing to get through. Uh, the, um, the two axis mount, the Atlas mount that pitch adjusts and swivel adjusts is the one that's shipping quickest. If you order a, a normal just left right swivel mount that doesn't have the, the pitch adjustment, those are delayed because we have so many Atlas mount orders. We're focused all our production on that, on those for right now. There is a discount code uh, left in the description below if you want to order one. So that's it for me for today. Uh, look forward to some pretty cool videos coming up soon. I have uh, another business that I'm working in and I'll be shooting some videos related to that. Also, we bought a Mini Cooper Countryman. SE plug-in hybrid and I'll be doing some videos on that. That's my wife's daily driver now So keep your eye on the channel for those videos coming up So thanks for tuning in guys. If you have any questions, let me know and as always stay charged Take it easy now Bye-bye